there is a concept of model concept drift. Can you please explain that? Sure. So it's very hard to assess the complete performance of a machine learning model in online systems. So you could, for example, spam detection. You could have a uh, you could build an offline model that um, trains on some spam um, emails and then predicts on spam emails. But when you put it online in a system, um, it could happen that your spam model is not performing well that you saw in your um, offline uh, offline model preparation. And this suggests that your model has gone stale and it needs to be retrained on fresh data. Um, so for again, let's talk about the spam detection model. Let's say you created a model several, several years back where you know spam looked like something like uh, somebody wants to transfer inheritance money to you and is asking for your account number. That's those are the kind of spam emails you got a couple of years ago. So imagine a model is trained on that and then is predicting on today's kind of spam emails, which is uh, which are much more sophisticated and it looks like uh, it's realistic emails that are very authentic looking and they lead to authentic looking websites that request for your password or something. So models trained on old spam emails would not perform well on today's spam emails. Um, and then, so you want to be able to measure this in production and know when your model is stale, when your model is no longer up to date to the data that's coming in. So that's kind of what, that's what um, concept drift is. And that's where a lot of um, machine learning, the continuous training thing comes in, where if you're looking for this kind of drift in your data, you want to be able to um, pass that data back to your machine learning model, have it retrain, and then deploy an updated model which performs well on the, the newest data that's coming in.